Nestled in the heart of New Zealand, the Southern Alps stand as a majestic and awe-inspiring testament to the power and dynamism of our planet's geological forces. Their towering peaks, deep valleys and sprawling glaciers tell a story that spans hundreds of millions of years, a narrative woven into the very fabric of the Earth's crust. This tale, rich in dramatic transformations and colossal movements, is not just a chronicle of a mountain range, but a window into the processes that have shaped our world. From their origins in the ancient depths of a Mesozoic ocean to their current status as one of the most rapidly rising mountain ranges on Earth, the Southern Alps have undergone an extraordinary evolution. Their story is one of continental drift and tectonic collisions, of immense pressures and the birth of mountains, of ice ages and the relentless forces of erosion. So in this video, we'll take a look at the formation of the New Zealand Alps. In the depths of the Mesozoic era, when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, the region that would one day become the Southern Alps lay beneath a vast ocean. Here in this ancient marine environment, layers upon layers of sediment accumulated, forming the bedrock of Greywacke and Schist that would later give rise to the mountains. These sediments, rich in marine life, slowly compacted under the weight of the ocean, setting the stage for the dramatic events to come. As the supercontinent Gondwana began to break apart, the land that would become New Zealand started its slow drift away from the massive landmass. This drift was part of a monumental process of continental drift, a puzzle piece in the grand tapestry of plate tectonics that reshaped the Earth's surface. Fast forward to the Miocene Epoch 23 million years ago. The stage was set for the rise of the Southern Alps. The collision of the Pacific and Indo-Australian tectonic plates, each carrying their continental crust, initiated a dramatic uplift. This was a colossal event, where instead of one plate subducting beneath another, both plates pushed against each other, causing the crust to crumple and rise. The immense pressure transformed the ancient sediments into the metamorphic schist, characterized by its layered, foliated appearance. The true uplift of the Southern Alps began around 5 million years ago, marking a period of intense geological activity. The Alpine Fault, a major player in this story, became the site of significant horizontal and vertical movements. This fault, running along the western edge of the mountains, has been the catalyst for the rapid rise of the Alps, at rates of about 7 to 10 millimeters per year. Simultaneously, the forces of erosion began their relentless work. The high rainfall on the western side of the Alps, coupled with the freeze-for action in the higher altitudes, led to significant erosion. Glaciers, those slow-moving rivers of ice, carved through the rising mountains, sculpting the dramatic U-shaped valleys and sharp peaks that define the Alps today. Today, the Southern Alps stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of Earth's crust. They continue to rise, shaped by the forces of tectonic activity and erosion. Glaciers, although retreating due to climate change, still mark the landscape, a reminder of the ice ages that played a crucial role in sculpting these mountains. As we reflect on the epic journey of the Southern Alps, from their ancient origins in the depths of prehistoric oceans to their current majesty, we are reminded of the enduring power and mystery of the natural world. The story of the Southern Alps is a vivid chapter in the Earth's geological history, and a compelling reminder of our planet's ever-changing face. Their legacy continues to unfold, inspiring us to deepen our understanding and appreciation of the natural world. Thanks for watching.